What's going on guys, this is Red Bull Tanker with Axis and Allies Global 1914, turn three for the Russians. All right, we had 25 to spend. We spent, we once again spent 24 of it for eight infantry and we saved one IPC. Um, not gonna be a lot happening with this turn. I think just kind of like with a couple other nations, I might start combining the Austrian and Russian turns together as Russia begins to get limited on what they're going to be able to do. But so for the Russians, we'll start out in the Pacific. So the Russian cruiser can go four. So we're going to have some fun with this. So they're going to go one, two, three, four, which is going to block these German cruisers from being able to meet up with their brother, with their um, Austrian brother in 72, because they can only go three. So they can go one, two, three, which, yep, which is probably going to allow them to get caught, uh, caught up by the uh, Commonwealth. So good for us, or good for the allies there. Okay, next, uh, coming over into Europe, we're not going to do any major combat. Um, we are just going to continue to reinforce the Baltic state line with another eight infantry. And I'm going to need to, um, I'm definitely going to have to, um, change, I'm going to have to chip that out. All right, so that's it for that. I'm going to bring this infantry from Viborg into Leningrad. The battleship will stay to keep Leningrad protected. Outside of that, I think that is it. And then I will deploy... Oh, excuse me. I will deploy the eight units, the eight infantry to Leningrad. Or St. Petersburg, sorry. And then on the chart, the Russians will collect 20. They saved one. So the Russians will collect 21 for this turn. Uh, two greens and the dice indicating that there is one extra IPC on that. Whoops, I, just, I dropped that. One. Okay, all right, so that is it for the Russian turn. And we will now turn the we will now turn the game over to the German Empire. So until then, guys, as always, take care.